will be due out later this season. What's that? Well, no, I have. Do you have other questions? <laughs> Very impressive. We got the opening going on, and we're here again, back tonight with a very gifted woman. Oh, help me because your name is so beautiful, but I have to get it right. Tenille Jeanne. Tenille Jeanne, perfect. Okay, it's very French, very exotic, very beautiful. Yes. But thank you for <coughs> making the time and coming. Uh, certainly, we're going to get the show going. We got stuck in traffic, and let me tell you, on Fridays when you come back to the city, Boy, 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 do we have to be ready or what, right? You gotta be ready. It's just it so happens. difficult and it's completely understandable. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good, good, good show. I wanna thank Gloria Messer, Arthur English, and of course, my makeup artist, Kelly Camacho. Look at what I'm doing, showing the earrings, <laughs> KC Designs. There you go. I have to take the necklace out because it was a little sound over there in the background. And Gloria said, I hear that cracking there. Sissy, please. So, okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for making the time. We met back, I think, in February. Earlier this year. Early yeah. this year. We met at Eva, Evan Ginsburg's yes. um, in Long Island. Yes. Um, he's a very kind man, and he definitely brings a lot of very, very different, talented people. He's always searching for talent. And uh, when we sat down together, I said, Sissy, you got to meet this woman. She's very, very talented. And I said to Evan, yeah, of course, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, soon enough, when I sat there and I just uh, sat on the couch, it's so, it's so easy to fall asleep because everybody's so comfortable. And Evan is such a great host. He's such a good, good, great man, but such a great host. I just sit and relax. And I'm, I was a little sleepy the night before. I didn't sleep much. And then when you open your mouth, I say, well, wait a second, she is good. I want it on my show, so Thank that's why we're that's here. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Yeah, so let's talk about, before we start singing, you start singing, let's talk about your craft music. Okay. Um, what exactly do you Well, about? basically how the, the, the upbringing mm -hmm. with music, is a little feedback there, so I step a little backwards. I don't know if it was you or me, but we're going to make sure that we're okay. From the upbringing, do you have a mic with you? No, you don't. Oh, so you're going to have to use that mic? Okay. Yep. So basically, let's talk about uh, your first musical memory when you decided to do this yeah. and why. Well, I was, I was brought up in a, a very musical family. Like, my entire family plays instruments and, um, you know, sing and, and write songs and the whole nine. So um, I, the influence was very much early on, though I didn't know that's what I really wanted to do until... Um, Maybe I was 15, 16, right. and um, that's kind of where the journey began. So I was born and raised in Little Rock, Arkansas. I got an acting scholarship, actually, to move here to New York. So I came here on an acting scholarship. Interesting. Um, yeah, and after that, I realized that's not... I, I would like to get back into that, but, you know, music is more personal to me, and it's my real passion. So um, here we are. Here you are. Yeah. Now, singing, like writing your songs... How does it work for you? Because for every artist, for every musician, I'm assuming it's a very different process. Some people, they like to write songs very quickly. Some people, they take time. Sometimes I have some people in the past, they say, I like to keep track of my dreams, mm -hmm. keep notes, keep diaries, because somehow the subconscious takes place. Yeah, I'm not very good at like keeping a diary because I don't write any songs down there all in my, my head. So I remember everything. I don't write anything down when I write songs. Okay. Uh, what I usually do is just use a recorder and when I get a melody, I just record it. And, and they come to you wherever you go? 
wherever I go, like I get inspiration from everything. Like a lot of my first EP is, a, a lot of it is about my life and my relationships. Like the title of my EP is I Like Girls and I Love Jesus. So like that Beautiful. whole body of work is like my experience and me accepting me for who I am and just kind of like tying everything together. Um, but of course, also, you know, you're, I'm walking around, I deal with people all the time. I look at their experiences and I write from their experiences. So every song is not about me, um, but you know, it's uh, all of us can relate somehow, some some way, because it's all tied into. Right. And, and living in New York, what do you think? Do you think this is the greatest place to I be? I love New York. You do. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. So the comparison, it's not much it's to really compare. So right. It's like you pick New York over Arkansas any day. And no, I love Arkansas. Of course, but w even coming and living here. Making a living here, paying bills, surviving, yes, fighting for your tough. dreams. It's very hard. It's very tough, yeah. So how do you keep it alive? I, I'm assuming that you have, I assume I can tell that you're very close to the Lord above. Absolutely. And, and certainly that gives us the strength Absolutely. to do what we do. But in your case, how do you get that strength? And putting God aside, what makes you stronger? What makes you tough? What makes you say, okay, this is the place that I want to be. I know I'm good at it, and I'm going to stick to my guns. I want it more than I don't want it. Okay. I want it more than I don't. So when I, when I feel like I'm not going to make it, which I have those days, um, not only am I surrounded by positive people that are encouraging, um, and every time I go out, I get such a great feedback from my music, which also encourages me. Um, at the end of the day, when I feel like, what am I doing? And like, am I, am I really going in the right direction? Um, it, I want it more than I do. We have a little feedback there. I don't know if you can sense it. I can feel it. But we're just working on it. I Wait, where you came from? Brooklyn. We have Crown Heights. This rolling, All right. Okay. Right. You got the cracking. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh we're taking pictures, guys. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, sorry, and some video, too. Good. Yeah. Oh, good. So you record the song then, right? Yeah, pieces okay, of it. Yeah. I got the thing is pieces. coming up quiet on the set. <laughs> Where did you get this music? Yeah. Oh, we can't talk. Sorry. Yeah, that was a rough cut, but I love it. I love you, Gloria. We it was it took some time to take off. Sometimes when we do the show, you have to consider that we're in an open studio, we're dealing with lighting, we're dealing with sound, we're dealing with traffic, we're dealing with adversity, obstacles, and we still have to do what we have to do. 
That's why this show is quite a test. That's our guest, by the way. We had that little lower third right in the bottom of our screen. Tenille Jenny. That's yes. the name of the guest tonight. She's a very uh, gifted, talented musician. I met her back in February. Uh, Evan Ginsburg was the man who made it happen. He hosts his own show in Long Island, and we collaborate together. He's a very smart guy. He's a people person, and he loves artists. And he said to me, Sissy, you have to meet this girl when you come on Saturday. That was a few months back. He said, you got to meet this girl. She's quite remarkable. She's beautiful, beautiful hazel green eyes, but you have to see her singing. And when I went over there, I was not surprised, obviously. Thank laying you. down that couch, almost falling asleep. Not because I was bored, because everything is so comfortable, right? Right, of course. With Evan, and he makes it so easy for the guest. But I was having such a great time, and I was relaxing, and I said, oh, God. And then I hear you singing. I said to myself, boy, she's good. Thank you. Thank you for making the time. A very mellow style. You got edge. I'm not a music critic, but you have that edge. You can about be honest. You. I'm, I'm cool. Very sultry, <laughs> very edgy, um, soft. It seems like you're giving it, but you're not giving it. Mm. You're holding to your own ground. You're holding to your own style with a give it away. I think you have your own. I think you know who you are. And that comes across through your, right, with your music? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Would you say it right? Yeah, I'm working on it. You're working yeah. on it. It's, yeah. it's, it's a constant, right. you know. It's a process. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, finding yourself, <coughs> finding your voice, is something that it takes time. Mm -hmm. um, Being and true to yourself. And be, uh, yeah, and, and it takes courage yeah. to be yeah. truthful. So we're going to talk about your life as a musician. Uh, going back in time, and I like always to go back in time and, and just go back to that first musical encounter, if mm -hmm. you can recall, yeah. with detail. Uh, when <coughs> was the time that you decided, okay, this is how, this is what I want to do. I want to follow my heart. This is my calling. Music is my life. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yeah, it it took me a while to... Uh, really know that this is what I want to do for a living but I was always around it and I was always listening to music like growing up and Whitney Houston was like my idol like you know you're not necessarily supposed to have idols but back then um, like she could do no wrong in my eyes you know she was perfect uh, but of course uh, closer to home like my family my aunts my uncles my cousins my mom was a singer a fantastic singer um, I was just surrounded by it, so, you know, it's not a surprise that, you know, I grew up and said, okay, this is what I want to do for a living, yeah. um, so. You can say it was a deep calling, it was a call from God, would you um, say, or it took you some time to decide? Yeah, it, I'm a late bloomer, so it took me a while to really figure out, like, you know, what I wanted to do. I, I knew I always wanted to be an entertain entertainment, but um, back then I, I didn't play an instrument, I didn't really sing, I didn't really write, so I didn't know. Right. Um, and then eventually um, I got into acting school and I started writing my own scripts and that turned into writing my own songs and then I taught myself how to play the piano. How do you do that? How do you taught yourself to play the piano? How does it work? Because uh, it's unthinkable to me. That it's, there's no way I can try as hard as I... It would never happen. You know that saying where there's a will there's a way? Like it's yes. really true. Like when you really, really want something, there are no excuses. And mm -hmm. anytime I start making excuses, that's how I know for myself, it's not something that I really want. Because when you really want it, there's no excuse. You're so gonna find a way to make it happen. You find a way to do it in reading music. I mean, uh, it's- um, I don't say, I, I won't say I really read music. I understand it, but I play more so by ear. Okay. Um, so I'm not classically trained, like my relatives are classically trained. Would you be willing to, to, to take uh, 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 classical? Training. Um, I would love to. It takes a lot of work. A, a lot of work. Um, I mean, I would love to, and I so respect it. Like I know tons of musicians that are just on such another level and out of this world. And anytime I get the opportunity, I just kind of like sit and glean from them and just watch what they do, um, right. and just take it back home and incorporate it into what I do. Now, uh, writing your songs, when, when <coughs> things come to you, how do they come? What kind of, like what kind of stuff do you like to write about? Uh, we were even talking before about what's your inspiration, what feeds you, what do you get your ideas, mm -hmm. uh, the creative process, how does it work? 
Um, I usually get melodies first. Okay. You know, I rarely come up with lyrics first. Melody always inspire the lyrics, but I write about life, you know, and I want to. I want my music to be as true as possible. Like I really want to touch people's hearts and souls. You know, I'm not here just to entertain, and I appreciate the music that's just to entertain and no substance. But like, I, I want you to feel. You know what I'm saying, and be able to relate. You know, so uh, that's that's the goal. What kind of musician are you? What kind of songwriter are you? Uh, you to, my like, genre? Yes. Um, How do you define your style? R&B soul, you know, with the twist. Mm -hmm. I don't know what type of twist. Do you like pop music? I like everything. You like everything? Everything. You like to listen to everything? Everything. Jazz, classical, um, Chick Corea, like I love that. Like, you uh -huh. know, um, everything. Hip hop, R&B, soul, rap? old classics. What about yeah. rap? Are yeah. you into rap much? I am. You hesitated a little. <laughs> I am the, the, not the hard hardcore. Right. But like I love Drake. I love Kanye. Um, uh -huh. I'm, I'm a fan. You You're know, a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah. I like it. I hear you. I'm I like, feel uh, you. But you get a little bit, a little bit there. Like mm. it, it just depends. Like I, I like you know the message a little bit more. Like you know to be more substantial, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Is but a lot of swearing too much? You think? I mean, as, as long as it's on, it's, it's a meaning behind it, you know right. what I mean? Not just, just because, but like right. when sometimes you just need to say it because it just puts the emphasis on the situation a little bit more, and I feel that. Right. So, you know, I'm not judging, like, you know, right. that's how you express yourself, I understand. What makes a great song, in your opinion? What makes a great song? Um, if you can, if, if it resonates with you, like, you know, um, mm -hmm. because I, I feel like this, like when all the artists that I've mentioned and that has touched me in some way, like it was something that they felt and that they were going through and, and because of how true it was to them, it became true for me or it made me understand their truth without judging. Right. Yeah. Like Whitney Houston spoke to you in a very special way because she had an amazing, way. incredible In a voice. very special way. She spoke to me. Like the first time, you remember the first time when you heard her song? Oh my what God. song? You remember that song? Wh which song? Um, didn't, we all, didn't, we all, song. didn't we almost have it all? Right. Yeah. And like her grace and her presence and her style, she was so elegant and so beautiful and her voice like, oh man, I would just stop in my tracks. Like you couldn't help but to just like, who yeah. is that? Wow. So yeah, it's an inspiration. Absolutely. Right? Now, do you find the musical business? Uh, this may perhaps be a very stupid question, but do you think the musical business is such a hard business to get into? Is it such a hard business to break <coughs> in um, in New York? Because you m you are from Arkansas. Correct? I'm from Arkansas. Yeah. Um, yes and no, because I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people in the industry, um, but you still you have to do the work like nobody's going to hand you anything you know so though i know you know musicians and signed artists um they had to do their work and i'm going to have to do my work too so right. um i have no doubts you know i don't know when it's gonna like really break but like i have no doubts yeah, but that this is, is your break. calling. This is what you want to do. This is what I want to do. Now, without music, can you live happy? Or can you be? Can you conceive your life without music? Say I never made it, which I don't think that way. Uh, but say I never made it to my ideal of success as a singer and songwriter, I would still probably write songs and play the piano. Even after, if you're after heartbroken, even if you're alone, even if you're in the that's worst. That's when I write. That's, that's when, when I write. the best songs. Was, that's when the best. Stuff oh my comes God! Out. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? I heard. I'm a huge fan of R. Kelly too. And like he, you know, I love R. Kelly. He's like one of the greatest uh, songwriters, and he's did so much in um, R&B and hip hop. But um, he made a comment. He was like, you know, when he was going through uh, the toughest and roughest times in his life, that's when the best material came out. Right. And I have to say, though it hasn't necessarily been proven the way it's been proven on, on his level, right. I feel like I really got great songs when I was really in the midst of a trial, you know, and in a challenging situation. You don't have anywhere else to turn to, but right. inside into your craft. Do so. you think, do you know yourself in a better way because your music? Have you discovered yourself? Yes. I don't want to sound corny, but it's a self it's a, it's a self discovery journey. My music has helped me accept me one hundred percent. It's a healing. 
It's a healing, I would say so, yes. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, 100%. When you came to the music, when you decided, okay, this is how I'm going to do it, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to be writing my songs, I'm going to be a performer, I'm going to be an entertainer. It took some time to get there. It took I, some I, time. I was writing and singing, but, you know, I was writing things that, you know, trying to please other people more so. Right, more than yourself. Than being true. So you think the song is an extension of your soul, your inner Absolutely. life? Absolutely. It should be. It shouldn't be an Im, Im, like an imposition, right? From a, a factors, people out there, trends, what people like, what people don't like, what sell, what doesn't sell. Yeah, you ratings. just have to. You just have to go from the heart. You gotta go from the. You heart. have to go from the heart, and people feel that. You know, even if they don't necessarily, because it's music out there that I may not necessarily like choose to buy, but if it's from their heart, like I'll feel that. What kind of feedback people tell you when you go to a bar, when you go to a gig, when you go to a, when you perform? What do people tell you at the end? Um, I had a show this past Friday, and the guy walked up to me, and he was like, "I feel your soul." Mm -hmm. You know, I feel your, and that made me so happy. You know, because sometimes I don't know, always know how people are going to receive, you know, my message, my music, or whatever you know it's just i have to give it out the way i feel it and the way it is and for someone to walk up and a few people would just be like i want that song right now where can i get it you right. know like that's such an encouraging it's so encouraging for me you know and it just pushes me to keep going and keep going and, and get it out to the people because right. they want it right and i want them to have it right this is a very competitive competitive city as we know what makes you special because I know it's like everybody, all of us, mm -hmm. we're special in our own way. And forget about what people, magazines, publicity, forget about what people say. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a voice and each one of us is special. Right. In um, terms of your singing, in terms of your craft, what makes you you, what makes you unique, and what sets you different, special um, from the rest, from, the, from everybody else? I'm just me like I don't I don't really I know that I'm definitely set apart um, from everyone else um, and not better or worse than anyone else but I just know I'm a real individual you know I am an individual I have my own mind I walk to my own drum beat like I'm not trying to impress you you know I'm not trying right. to be like you though I can of course get inspired and like you know um, be prompt to do something um, or take it to the next step but I'm an individual and um, and I think too my spirituality has helped me get to this place you know because when you really see God like you can't help but be you you don't look to anybody else for approval right you know you hope that you will be accepted you hope that you will be respected and loved mm -hmm. but even if you don't this is who I am right you know so right it seems like you 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 come a long way. I'm working on it. Thank of you. Of self discovery. Yes. And you're very. Uh, if, I'm see if I'm thinking. Um, hmm. What's the word that I'm looking for? Yeah. You seem to be in peace with yourself. It doesn't mean that you have the happiest life in the past. You've been through s your adversities and struggles, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's what makes you who you are. Right. Right? Yes. But at, at the same time... Which I'm grateful for. Which you're very grateful yes. for. Yes, yes. Uh, but it seems to me that, yeah, this is your own voice, this is your own <coughs> life, you're making your own choices, and you're happy with your life. Right. Even when uh, times might not be that easy, you look at yourself in the mirror at night, and you said, okay, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm a happy mm -hmm. individual. Right. And you know what? And I hope, too, that my music... Um, inspires other people that feel like me to just you know be themselves you mm. know because I've met so many people that are living their lives for their parents or for their community or for the people that's around them and afraid of what they may say right. and at the end of the day they're not happy you know they look in the mirror and they're not happy because of their surroundings right. you know so I hope my message and me you know being courageous enough to be who I am and put my music out the way it is um, it will inspire them to be themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, people like, big people like Beyonce, Rihanna, mm -hmm. what's your take on those? Um, nothing but respect. You know, you, I, Beyonce is like, you know, 
at her best after all these years, you know, right. and she keeps bringing it and keeps giving it to you. And, and obviously this is something that she really loves because she doesn't stop right. and she keeps hitting the mark. You know, right. and you don't hear anything negative about her, which, you know, I thought People about seem that to the like other day. so much, right? They say she's really kind and really, and you know, and yeah, earth yeah, and grounded, and, and she just does her work and go home and be with her family. Right. And what about Rihanna? I like Rihanna. Rihanna, Diffin Rihanna. Like yeah, yeah, she, 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 she's a, you know, a little different. Bad girl. She might be a little young. Well, yeah. I mean, you have to go through the bad to see the good. But I like that. Right? I like that. If that that's who she is, I, l I like that. I respect that. Yeah. She has I swagger. She's, you know, very attractive. She's talented. Yeah, very talented. She's not afraid to speak her mind. Nobody should be afraid to speak to, uh, uh, their minds. But right. she seems to be, she's a young lady who knows what she wants and she knows how to give it. Mm -hmm. And she might not sound 100%, um, I don't know what's the word that I'm looking for. Maybe she's not mature enough. She's still a young woman, right? And she got major success at a very young and age too. Very so you know, sometimes so that, that can, can be hard to yeah, handle. yeah. It in fact, yeah. is is very hard to handle. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but music certainly. I have a lot of friends, and I know people who are trying to break in, and mm -hmm. you always think and pray and hope for the best because this is a place we live in the world that. Everything happens for a reason, and the world got much smaller. Hmm. With a click, you just, yeah. right? With one single yeah. click on the computer, <laughs> on the phone, look, yeah. you're a friend. She's taking <laughs> pictures, she's taking videos, she's sending to Facebook, she's yeah. putting the picture. Hey, yeah. here we are, sending a picture. Da. That's your man right there taking pictures. I mean, the world has changed mm -hmm. so fast right. that technology, right? Uh, yeah, but I think it's a good and bad thing. You know, it because is good and bad. yeah, and all in between. Because I don't think we get the best work now. I think it's mediocre. Right. You know, and I even saw a documentary on it. I and I said it before I saw the documentary. It's like it allows you have to now weed through the mediocre to get to the great stuff because right. it's all out here. Right. You know, and like I even heard a comedian. I think it was uh, one of the Wayne brothers. He was like, you know because of technology people go out with their first show and record themselves and put it up and it's like no dude do the work do the work wait news. until after 10 years that you've perfected and now people want to see what you're saying and right. see what you're talking about and like put it out then don't right. do it right away it's right. too soon it's too nobody's soon. gonna pay attention to you you're still a novice like you know yeah you're a joke yeah exactly you haven't perfected it yet so right that's the negative part the good part is you know we can allow people to see you know uh, what we're doing and you know I'm tracking and logging my process now through video so that's like good I'm doing a documentary so by the time Great. the EP is released you're going to be able to see the steps leading up to okay Deshaun do we have still time I just want to double check baby I'm sorry that I cut you off guard but yeah. we're family Close is yes. okay I just want to double check yeah. because we have so many uncertainties taking place tonight and it's certainly I'm using the studio extra time because I need to. I wanted to have this interview. This is such a gift of woman. It's and so I want cold to in here. So we'll still keep going. And I know Gloria is going crazy in the control room. <laughs> what are you doing? She got that voice from like the golden girl. We're talking about the golden girl. <laughs> yeah. And you say, oh my God. Yeah, she does. Gloria tells you what it is. She tells you how she feels. And when she does, sh when she's not happy, she's going to let you know yeah. that she's not happy. And I have Story a lot. Of should be. Yeah, and I have a lot of respect for that. So I we feel get like music. you're the same person, though. Like yes, you, you we're give very it to similar. Yeah. I give my best. I give my heart to what I do. Mm -hmm. I don't give a show. I don't give. I'm spending time with my piggies at night. If I'm cleaning my toilet, yeah, if I'm cooking the greatest meal, if I'm reading the greatest book, if I'm watching the greatest movie, I give you my best. Nice. I truly believe that we're here to improve ourselves and. Unfortunately, life can be so hard that we can get down and we can be extremely negative, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because we have so many things to overcome. That's where spirituality comes into play, though. Right. You know? it, it's so important. And, like, you know, unfortunately, people look at it as kind of corny and like, oh, you're no, a Jesus freak not. or whatever the case may be or whatever, you're, whatever you believe in. I don't, you know, impose my... Um, my beliefs, uh, but I do believe in Jesus. I believe Me he's too. the son of God. I think in he's God. coming back, you yes. know. Um, and let's and pray the Lord. I do, I do, I do. Every day, I said it to my sister, said it to my husband, said it to my family, I'm grateful with the Lord above for what I have mm -hmm. because I'm breathing, because life is a miracle. Absolutely. 
and life can be gone. We can die. We can drop dead at any given time, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's not about the money. It's no. not about the fame and the fortune. Like you no, know, you, it is not. you hear people that are wealthy that are taking themselves out. You know? know, and it's it's sad. so sad. And that's because there's a void and something's missing. And I truly believe it's you know the foundation of like God. You know, you have to have that as your center and your foundation because. Days are rough, days oh, are hard, yes. you know, disappointments come left and right. But once you go in, you know, and just um, release it over and just give thanks to, and that's what I've learned, in every situation, give thanks, no mm -hmm. matter what it is. No matter give what thanks. it is. And that just kind of opens up the door for the next level. You know, right. No, do you, do not you, complaining. Do you, do you talk to God every day? Every day. I have to. You have to. It's a deep <laughs> I'm need. walking around in New York City. I have to. And you're going with all like, these oh, crazy Jesus. people in the exactly. deep train. Come on, get out of my way. <laughs> Lord, give me very, yeah, but Sometimes <laughs> we're very close to the Lord, but we lose, you know, people get in the Well, train. you're real. You know, you're an individual and you have emotions and you have feelings. You have to be real, you know, and, and that's, sure. that's one of the things that I kind of like don't disagree all the time with church. It's like you kind of take out the person. Right. And it's like, listen, you know, I'm an individual. You know, I feel things, I see things, I feel you a type feel of way. Things. Absolutely. Yeah. And I have to respond to that. Now, there is a way to respond and I'm growing and trying to, you right. know, handle things. What makes you angry? What makes you out of crazy? What, what, how do you lose control? <sighs> I don't lose control too much. You don't? Not too Do much. you get angry much? Um, I get angry. I can't really think of right now what gets me angry. You though. don't know what gets you angry? I can't think of it right now, but I'm sure like when I stop talking to you and walk away, I'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. that gets me angry. That what makes me angry. Do you like to follow the news much? Or a you little like bit. Or you to isolate yourself to a different world? Because maybe this world is not Yeah, the news. Enough. The news is very negative. Depressing. Yeah, it's very negative. Okay. Um, I mean, you need to watch the, n the news to keep up with what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I prefer to read a good book or something that's uplifting. And, you know, right now I'm reading Russell Simmons' book, Do You? So, you no, know. That's a good um, title. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Do You? Um, and, of course, it's a lot about the industry and, you know, um, trying to accomplish. And he's accomplished a lot. And he talks about many times that he failed and kept going and kept going and kept going mm -hmm. and stand true to himself. You know, right. even when people are like, it's not going to work. It's right. not going to work. Don't listen to many people. Yeah. It can drive you crazy. you got to yeah. listen to yourself, listen to God. That's not always easy to do, though. No, I know. You know so How do you block these bananas out? How do you block this negativity and people driving? you this way you go this way you go that way meditation and good people meditation you. good people good yeah. sex and good life <laughs> yeah. I mean let's be honest you've got to be happy you've got to please yeah. your soul you got to please your mind you got to please your body you got to do what makes you happy but sleep with the right person I know just, but baby know. it's not that easy to live with the right I'm a happy woman but you know how much work it takes to have a good relationship yeah it takes work excuse me yeah, it, takes work. it takes so much work mm -hmm. And uh, God, it's just that I always say that happiness is in you. Yeah. And you know what? That's a mistake, too, because people look to other people to make them happy. Right. And they want to be in a relationship and be like, oh, you know, oh, it's nothing be. out here. It's no material thing. It's no person that's going to make you happy. You know, for me, I realize, like, my work is what makes me happy. Right. Like, when I'm accomplishing and working towards that. Right. You know, that really makes me happy. What will be your goal? In the future, what's your goal? What's the I want to be known. I want to be known dream? internationally. I want everybody in the whole wide world to know my name and know my music. It's fair enough. Love and respect me. Do you think is Do you think is achievable? Absolutely. Nothing is stopping you. Even Nothing even if the business gets rough, even if people gets jealous, even if people gets in your way, you're gonna find a way to have your voice heard. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep. Nothing is going to stop you. Nothing's going to stop me. You're not your worst enemy. You're not your worst <coughs> critic. Are you easy with yourself? No, I'm hard on myself. Why? Because I want it. And I don't like to fail. You don't like to fail? Why you no. don't like to fail? You think, oh, I like that icon in the bottom. You see, I love when Gloria gets creative. Now you get the icon on top of the picture. It <laughs> makes me happy. It's a little sign to say, Sissy, we have to wrap it up. The show is over. Time flies. Time is fast. Thanks for having me on the show. No, thank you for coming. Yeah. I'm so glad that we took the decision to sit it's down so and talk. It's so cold in here, though, so I'm, like, it's fidgeting. It's cold. Yeah. I know. I saw you. That's why I had my jacket on. You didn't oh. warn me. Yeah, you I'm sorry. I forgot. Sometimes I honestly, 
bring it on and say, guys, bring a sweater, bring a scarf, bring a pillow, bring a whatever, you know, bring your bed, whatever. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to thank everybody, um, Arthur English, Charles Cassano, Gloria Messer, Alex De Romero, my own father, who's an incredible journalist and a writer and an inspiration of mine. Nice. Consistent support. My mom, an incredible doctor and a wonderful mother. What type of doctor? Uh, she's a general okay. uh, practitioner. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm devoted to her family, devoted to my family, my husband, my twin sister. I have a twin sister, Mercy, who's my other half. I love her to death. I love you with all my heart, my brother, my nephews, my husband, my friends, my <laughs> teachers, Gloria Messer, everybody for helping me to do my show. I'm grateful to the Lord above. I'm grateful every week for having the opportunity to sit and do what I do. And yeah. this is fun. That's fun. To sit down and talk to people. Yeah. I do my reading. I do my work. I do a lot of reading. And you want to be a good host. And you want to be a good, you know, in interviews. You have to do a lot yeah. of reading. It's essential to read. That's good. It's reading reading good. helps you live longer, too. Oh, absolutely. And, it keeps and the laughter, mind sharp. Right? Yes, yes, yes. It's good to shed a tear in the shower. And God knows that I cry in the shower. But Aww. it's good to laugh. Yeah. My advice is laugh as much as you can. Love, peace, and happiness, guys. See you next week. Thank you for watching. Cool. We're done. Awesome. Okay. Thanks so much. That was a good interview, right? <laughs> <laughs>